Mambo Beginnings My Story My Testimony Great lovely beautiful wonderful another glorious wonderful moment that God has graciously given unto us I trust that my wonderful viewer uh, you are well kept by the law and you are still doing well I am also doing well this bishop Dr Ken from the Bible Sanctuary of Glory of course the host of your lovely program entitled uh, Humble Beginning, My Story, My Testimony. I trust that this program has continued to lift you, to elevate you, to build you, and to impact you. We have been hearing many testimonies of people being lifted and impacted through this, uh, this program. And I encourage you, my viewer, if you have been blessed, you can also write to us, it's number on the screen, or you can even call and you can also reserve an appointment to come and also tell us your story and your testimony. Now, well, today we are not left behind. We are graced to have a lovely, lovely, wonderful friend who is here. Hey, how are you, Mr. Wanyeke? I'm so good, uh, Bishop. Yes. I'm here today with you. Mm. Grateful to have uh, been uh, your guest today. Thank you. And I'm so grateful for Lord mm. for giving us this chance. Thank you. Thank That's beautiful. You. Yes. Welcome. Hey. Thank you. Thank God for everything. Yeah. Yes. You're still beating this COVID-19. Yes, you're still <laughs> beating it. And we thank God. Hey, uh, that's like a courage. Uh, that's like a boldness. <laughs> yes, but, <laughs> Bishop. And I don't give up and I don't give up. I don't give up. Yeah. We trust God because Mungu anasema mm. he is for us. That's true. He created us with a purpose mm. and everything that we're going to pass is with us. Actually, as scripture says, if God is for us, Nothing. we can be against us. <laughs> no one can be against us. Even COVID-19. Can't be against us. can hammer it. Sure, sure. Yes, uh, thank yes. you so much. Yes. So can we begin by knowing this Wanyoike, your full name? Mm. And where you were born? Oh, thank you, Bishop. Mm. My name's uh, Peter Nyoike. Mm. Uh, if you like it, you can call me Wanansi. Wanansi. Yeah, Nyoiki is my father. Yeah. Nancy is my mother. Yeah. I love them so much. You seem to be proud so, of your mother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Obvious, obvious. Uh, boy child is always a mother's child. Yeah, boy child. <laughs> so That's I love true. them so much. Yeah. So I call myself by their names. Mm. Na metoka huko Moranga, mm. Natanga. Tanga. Yes, that's where I was born mm. some, some years back mm. in a family of many people mm. uh, with a great uh, uh, parenting from mm. my father and my mother. Mm. And I grew there mm. being a child as other. Mm. And I'm th I thank God for this far. Mm. Yes, Bishop. You say you come from Gatanga and a big family. Yeah, big Wali family. <laughs> <laughs> In our family, we are a dozen. We are a football club. Wow. Uh, yeah, plus our father and mother. So it's a big family. Mm. Yes. You are born how many? We are born 10. Wow. Plus ten. my Same father. Mother. <laughs> yeah, plus father and mother. Hey. That's a team. Hey. Yeah, a football Beautiful. team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you've been 10, including your father and mother, a full a football, full football team. A full football team. <laughs> 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 That's great, Bishop. Yeah. So we thank God for that. Mm. Uh, it's just a privilege. You know, there are many people suffering there asking them the God why, why we don't have kids, mm. why we don't have uh, family. But as for us, we thank God because um, it's not just normal to be in a far, such a big family mm. with uh, with a success because we can say we have a success having 10 children mm. none of them is dead we yeah, are still there our father them. and mother are there yeah. that's a blessing it's a blessing yeah I tell you it's a blessing that's a blessing hey that's yeah. true mm. and you are you are number what i'm number two number two yeah <laughs> I thank God because those days, those people were, we don't have it today. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, there was no issues of family planning and so, mm -hmm. but they all used uh, to space their children between two and three years. Mm -hmm. You can see that a, a, a child born between between one year or so, or so. It was between two years, mm. three years. Two years, three years. Mm. And uh, 
there was no issues of permit planning. Mm. So they were they were talented with such wisdoms mm. to know how to do and uh, arrange their their issues. Mm. So uh, it's a uh, between two and three years. I know in a family, yeah, uh, with the children. Normally, number one, number two, carry the heaviest load. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I got you. Oh, yes, oh, yes. You know, uh, the firstborn and secondborn, they bear the same responsibility as the father and the mother. Mm -hmm. Because in most cases, unapata labda baba ameenda kutafuta, mm -hmm. na mama vile vile ameenda kutafuta. Na family as big as that one, mm -hmm. you see, at an, at an age of 10, at an age of 11, there, you have like other two, three uh, mm -hmm. siblings behind you yeah. so you take care of them as a father or a mother so mm. uh, as the second born mm. uh, has a lot of responsibilities uh, mm -hmm. to, to 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 take care of uh, other siblings who are behind us mm. so ni mbeba wengi pastor a bishop ni mbeba wengi ya brother grand god because ya great ya great agejo ambio ni kumbuka ni kubeba yeah you know <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> sio kazi ngumu sio yeah. kazi rahisi that is yeah. sio kazi rahisi kuachwa pale na watoto we die baba yao die mama yao mm. we die una take responsibility ya mama na unajua wakati ule tulikuwa tunapewa uh, 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 mawaidha ama warnings mm. face face mm. unajua nimekuacha hapo nikute umechomana mm. so yeah. <laughs> ama nimekuta umechoma mtoto yeah, nikute umechoma mtoto utaniambia <laughs> <laughs> sasa unachukua ile jukumu sasa wewe ndio utafsiri umeambiwa nini usienda mm. ukachukua maji ukamwagia watoto uachome ndio unaambiwa nikute umechunga wa watoto mm. so it was not a nice task but we thank god for everything mm. yes beautiful sasa ukarelewa huko yes nasomea primary yes. how did your life progress <laughs> and mpaka ukajipata Nairobi yo i as any other a uh, kid and kalewa pale mm. nikalelewa huko na wale watoto wengine mm. uh, from other families and neighbors and we started schooling and we continued as others mm. and uh, after being uh, one of the leaders in the schools mm. within our village mm. i joined other people in, uh, in building the nation mm. so nikatoka uh, wakati niacha kusoma niingilia tu vibarua kama inda, kama kawaida yeah. like any other man and um nikaanza vibalua hapa pale mm. uh, very very hard vibaluas you know I, I was very young in fact mimi nilisoma nikiwa mtoto mdogo sana mm. asikuwa na mwili mm. uh, by the time naacha shule i was still very very small boy mm. uh, na mwili haikuwa imekomaa kabisa yeah, yeah. so nilikuwa nimekukata eh nilikuwa nimekataa in fact nilikuwa kama mtu kadogo in ukiambua nikiwa na 18 i was looking like uh, 14 years old hey. nilikuwa kama mtu kadogo tu hivi mm. and i joined other people kutafuta vibalua papa na pale very hard uh, vibalua eh? mm. but i thank god because nilikuwa na watu ambao walikuwa wananishika mkono huko vijana wenzangu wale wakubwa mm. na tukafanya kazi huko nikafanya vibalua vya kulima nikaajiliwa mm. kwa, kwa factories za kahawa mm. and at the, the end of the day nikasema hapana maisha mm. hapa alishagi uh, mm. sioni kama tunapelekana vizuri mm. so at that time I was not even saved by mm. bishop I was mm. just as uh, any other normal man mm. there in the village. Mm. So nikatoka nikasema hapana let me go and do something mm. for my life. Mm. And uh, nikaanza kufanya kazi ya baba nikaenda nika train kidogo mm. baba and uh, kuf, ku, kunyoa watu mm. and I qualified. Mm. So I'm still in the village that mm. time but ni me move from our, uh, our village our, mm. our pale kab, kab, kabisa kabisa kwa kijiji nimetokea kwa town kidogo mm. our town is god kilwala that's where yeah. i trained mm. as a baba and i stayed there for about six or so months eh? mm. niki train mm. later i qualified mm. na nikasema sasa kama mtu ambaye sasa amehitimu na amekuwa na na a course mm. to do for life i shouldn't be there mm. i should be uh, going around there looking for other jobs let me go and pursue this uh, this goal mm. ya kufanya kazi ya baba Mm. So I was employed mm. about like uh, 10 kilometers far away from my home. Wow. 
Na nikaenda pale nikaanza kufanya kibalua. Nikahamia huko. Yes. No, mm. I didn't uh, seek hama. 10 km. Yeah, I was just commuting. Yeah, I was commuting 10 km every day mm. in the morning. Mm. Naenda kazi mm. by saa mbili nafunga. Mm. Bado na commute and you know those days even uh, uh, matatos was mm. challenge. Mm. So it's about commuting and it's about valleys and uh, and mountains. So mm. you go down and then mm. up the yeah, mountain yeah. every day. Mm. But we did it. Mm. We did it. Nikafanya fanya hapo then I realized no this is not where I should be. Mm. And I I just uh, 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 I visited one of my friends who was working uh, at the city. Mm. how can I be one of the people who are working at the city? Na akaniambia kuwa kuna mahali anaweza nipeleka kazi ya konyoa. Fortunately or unfortunately, mm. <laughs> nikatoka Gishagi mm. and I came here in Nairobi. Hey. But kufika, mm. mahali nikuwa niende mm. kunyoa, mm. nikapata kuna mtu mwingine hameingia mbele yangu. Ah, na niko, lose, lose opportunity. Yeah, the opportunity is lost. Mm. Na niko wapi? Mm. Niko mm. Nairobi. Mm. So I decided no, I won't go back to my village mm. and I will do something that uh, others are doing. Mm. Na nimekwambia nilikuwa mm. yeah. nionge kiasi hiki. Nimekatalia kule chini. Eh nimekatalia kule chini yeah. hata nikikula sana <laughs> mwili haikuji. <laughs> mwili imekata. Yeah. So uh tuko kaa na e for like two, three days. Na unajua hapa na Nairobi hakuna mama ya mwingine. Mm. Especially wanaume mm. kila mtu ni mama yake. So ni hasa hapa ni kuindana na mapeni. Mm. Na lazima ujikakamue ndio at least ukue una you feed yourself, you pay for your lens mm. and uh, you other stuff. So uh, I decided let me join the construction uh, industry. Mm. Na ule ule rafiki yangu alikuwa mmoja wao wa wale watu wanafanya kazi kwa construction. Mm. So I was privileged to have somebody mm. with some knowledge mm. to the same Mm-hmm. Nikamuliza can I join this uh, this thing? Can mm-hmm. I be are you sure? Mm-hmm. Are you sure you want? Mm-hmm. Nikamwambia no, mm-hmm. yes. Can I be this is not a nice task. This is not something to joke with. Nikamwambia mm-hmm. no, I don't want to go back to my village. So let me try it. Mm-hmm. Okay, he introduced me. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you bishop. Mm-hmm. It was not a nice task. Mm-hmm. As he was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> wakati niliingia kwa mjengo the first day yeah. uh, i was given a ka, ka, ka trench kamtaro kidogo hivi ka futi ka, I, i still remember mm. it was 11 foot pale juu ilikuwa uende 4 uh, foot down na hapa chini ilikuwa uende 2 foot mm. but i've not done such a big task before mm. and ile kamtaro unafaa utoe ile mchanga uluze kama like Three meters far from the trench. Mm. The mchanga is rudy and you give space for working. Mm. So that was my first task. Mm. A small boy. Mm. And the, the supervisor there was not a joke. He was mm. as serious as a supervisor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was not giving any chance mm. for mtu kulegea legea. Mm. So I worked very really hard the mm. whole day and uh, very unfortunately kulikuwa na mama yake kubwa kubwa pale so I was to to toa hizile mawe ndio mm. niweze kuclete space nikagwarwa sana nikagongwa sana kwa kidore mm. na ikatolewa nyama kubwa sana oh, but the supervisor was not understanding that mm, yeah. you are here to work so you must work nothing else wewe funga kidore yako kazi yako ni umalize huo mtalo unless umalize huo mtalo <laughs> hakuna mshahara ndio maisha yako hasa na hiyo hiyo ndio maisha Hey. It was a very very tough welcome in the industry because uh, I didn't expect such a mm. it is my first day na zile zile instructions I mean these instructions and na pewa ni very harsh mm. I must do the job mm. and also I want to 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 confirm to this man that I'm able to do the job mm. because kesho nataka nipewe kazi mm. so nikajifunga ile kidole mm. very ilikuwa ina bleed sana mm. lakini nikatafuta fitabala you know sasa pale hakuna mtu ana, mm. anashughulika yeah. na wewe ni yeah. unatafuta zile fitabala fitabala unaona pale minding whether there is uh, there are in, uh, infectious or not mm. wewe well, unafunga tu and you continue doing that so uh, by the end of the day nilimaliza kitu kama five hapo 
from morning paka mm. jioni because niko na uchungu mm. ni mimi peke yangu na chimba mm. ni mimi peke yangu na toa ile mchanga sometimes ni sina ile nguvu ya kurusha 2 meters so mm. narusha tu hapa alafu natoka naenda kusukuma yede yede the fa but i thank god because ile kujikakamua kwangu mm. ilifanya ule sasa supervisor after after sasa kumaliza ile kazi jioni mm. kakuja akaniambia i have seen you can do this job mm. singe kuonyesha kuwa wewe uko na shida ya kidole i was trying to test you and see whether you are a man enough yeah. to do the job mm. <laughs> and uh, thank god because alinialika the following day lakini wakati nilienda pale kazi kakuwa ngumu zaidi mm. na sina zile nguvu sasa za kufanya kazi mm. Nikaenda nikajiuliza oh will I do this job really? Mm. Will I continue? Mm. Will I, do I have the energy to do the job? So After na ile ile kidole? Yeah, the kidole. You go back the following the day. The following day. Na sasa kazi ya the following day mm. it was even harder because I was to carry the f- nine they call it nine is it za mawe za nine. Nine by nine. Yes, nine by nine. Mm. Sasa unasitoa pale zimemwagwa na roli mm. unapeleka mahali mafundi sasa so watakuwa ina. Jana ilikuwa ni ya kujimba. Eh, so sasa hii ni ya mawe. mawe. Na hili kidole mm. inauma and you are very keen is going to tena. Mm. Na umepewa sasa yale mawe utabeba from there mm. to there by mm. the end of the day. Wow, wow, wow. This is really powerful. <laughs> My viewer here, we are running somebody being introduced into the construction industry you know people think that everything sometimes um sometimes people think that uh beginning something is easy but we are seeing a difficult a hand introduction we are going for a short break we are coming back shortly thank you Beginnings. My story, my testimony.